It is a known thing that in the Garden of Eden, in the ancient place, Gan Eden, there were main two kinds of trees, famous and known. One of them was the tree of knowledge, Etz Hadat, good and bad, Tov Vera, and the other one was the tree of life. Now, after Adam and his wife Chava, they sinned, so the Creator said, if now, after they ate from the tree of knowledge, they will eat also from the tree of life, they will live forever. And if they will live forever, they will not be able to correct what they spoiled and ruined by eating from the tree of knowledge before its time. They were supposed to eat from tree of knowledge, good and bad, but they were supposed to eat it only at Friday night, but they ate it on Friday afternoon. And therefore, they ruined something with their lack of patience, with their lack of understanding of the importance of waiting to the right time. So because the day were in a rush, and mainly Adam Rishon was in a rush and pushed his wife Chava as well to eat and to do what that was going on between them, they were pushed out of the Garden of Eden, so to speak. And the flipping sword that is sharp from two sides, Hashem put it as a gate to block the entrance back to the Garden of Eden. Now, it seems to us, like when we try to make sense with this story, with this detailed story, it sounds to us like there is a garden and it's surrounded with a fence and there is no way back in because of that flipping sword. Even if we will track it down and we'll find the location of it, we cannot stand the heat of that sword that is flipping on us up and down, in and eye out, right and left, back and forth, and we cannot go through it, so to speak. So the tree of life is not available for us, it's hidden. It's inside the garden and is not available for us, not accessible. But the truth is different than the way our logic works. The truth is divine and Hashem, He never left us. The only thing that was rejected from the Garden of Eden was not us at all, was not Adam and Chava. It was the awareness of Adam and Chava. It was the mind. Our mind was rejected from living life of prosperity in completion and in unity and in great harmony in the Garden of Eden. Our awareness was kicked out of the Garden. When we are looking at ourselves, we need to mention to ourselves, to remind ourselves that we are souls. And as souls, we are alive. And as souls that are alive, we are as branches in the tree of life. Because you have your family tree, but it's not a complete tree. It's actually just a branch because your family has their root in a greater branch that is going all the way to the main branches that humanity was created from. In the beginning of your trunk of the tree, you are part of the soul of Adam and Eve. And that is the tree of life. The tree of life that is inside the Garden of Eden is not a separated tree that is a physical tree that made out of wood with branches that are tree and leaves and fruits. The tree of life is the tree of the livings. This is the tree of life, the tree of us, that we are those branches that we are all together as one we are the tree of life so what was rejected from the garden of eden what is stopping us from eating from the tree of life and becoming one with him and live forever our individuality our awareness that was kicked out of the Garden of Eden sent us to life of exile, life of separation, life of dividings and constrictions, 
life of darkness. And I think the main word is life of separation. Life of separation from our true existence as parts of the tree of life. Because if you look outside, you see your body is cut in a certain way that, okay, that's the end of my body. That's where I end here in the skin. And that person that stands in front of me, I can see his skin. That's where he ends as well. But that's not the truth. That's the physical cut that is seen to your eye. That also does not reflect reality if you look at things in a deeper way. Break through the, the medium way of observation on the physical reality. When the physical reality is actually very, 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 very spiritual, very, very deep and meaningful and holds great treasures of wisdom and holy, holy, highly ancient information that is imprinted in every physical cell of all particles of creation, but even more so in spirituality. When you look deep into your soul and you understand that your soul came from the soul of your parents and the soul of your parents came from the souls of your grandparents and the souls of your grandparents came from the souls of your great grandparents and on and on and on and on and on, you see a tree. You see rivers that are spreading in, in great ways and covering and washing and healing the world with the water of Torah, with the wisdom that is being driven by the water and giving and supplying life to everyone who asks, to everyone who has his need. So the real true tree of life and our connection and our ability to eat from it and to become eternal, again, is by connecting ourselves to who we really are from within to come back to be one with our individual soul that is connected in its root to other souls that are, that has something mu in mutual, something together, something in, in, in common. And when we are who that we are from within, being those holy souls that we are, holding hands in our roots, attaching ourselves to each other with love, we're making the way back to that tree of life and we by that can enjoy eternal life in this world and in the future to come. I bless you to have the ability to see all those great sights in your minds and that the Spirit of Hashem will heal you, protect you, stabilize you and satisfy you in any possible way. Amen. You know me, my name is RDMC with the Muna Project. All the nations with me, close your eyes, just breathe, see the truth. Don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news, be yourself, your own true self. Don't let no one take our natural wealth, see the good. From an endless spring, light up courage in yourself. You they can you kick you down, down to the ground. Hold yourself up till you are put up your crown. King of the creator, holy soul inside. Focus on the spiritual and you shall.